In this video, we'll learn how to use the Loon algorithm. So what is the Loon algorithm? Well, it's a check digit system that's used for many different purposes, including verifying credit card numbers. So this would be a typical problem. We want to use the Loon algorithm to determine if this 16-digit credit card number is valid. So how does the Loon algorithm work? Well, we want to compute a weighted sum with the weight pattern 212121 and so on. So what that means is we're going to be writing out the digits of our credit card number, and then we're going to be multiplying each digit by the corresponding weight. So when we see a weight pattern that says 2121 like that, that means we're going to take the first digit of our credit card number and multiply it by 2 and record the product. Take the second digit, multiply it by 1, the third digit multiply by 2 again, the fourth digit multiply by 1, and so on. So we'll keep alternating multiplying by 2 and multiplying by 1 until we get to the end of our credit card number. But there's a little bit of a wrinkle with that plan for the Loon algorithm because if multiplying a digit by 2 would give us a two-digit number, then for the Loon algorithm, we're going to add those digits together. So this is a little twist with the Loon algorithm. Not every weighted sum system uses this rule of adding the digits together. Just the Loon algorithm does. So then what we do is we take these results and add them all up, and if the sum of all those results ends in a zero, then the ID number is valid. So let's see how this works. So again, we've got our 16-digit credit card number, and we're trying to use the Loon algorithm to determine if it's valid. So we'll make a little chart, and in the first row of our chart, we'll write down all of the digits of our credit card number. In the second row of our chart, we'll put down all the weights. Again, our pattern is 212121, and so on. And then in the third row of the table, we'll record our products. And product is in quotation marks there because we've got this strange rule for something else that we're going to do if our product ends up being a two-digit number. But nothing weird happens the first time. 3 times 2 is 6. The second product, 3 times 1 is 3. Now something interesting happens. 7 times 2 is 14, and 14 is a two-digit number. So the Loon algorithm tells us to take those two digits and add them together. We get 5, and 5 is what we put in for the quote-unquote product. So certainly I'm not saying that 7 times 2 is 5, but for the Loon algorithm, 5 is the result that we write down. 9 times 1 is 9. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 is a two-digit number, so we take 1 plus 0, add those together, we get 1, so that's what we record for our next product. And we continue in this way, filling in all of the results, and then all we have to do is add the results all together. They all add up to 70, and since 70 ends in 0, that means our credit card number is valid. So one thing to keep in mind is that since if we get a two-digit number for our product, we add those two digits together, the quote-unquote products that we get for our Loon algorithm will always be single digits. So if you notice here, in the product row of our table, 6, 3, 5, 9, 1, 1, and so on, all of those are single digits. So that's a good rule of thumb to follow when you're using the Loon algorithm, is that you should never be writing down a two-digit number for your product. Let's look at a different kind of problem. This time we have a credit card number, and we don't know what the check digit is. And so the question is to try to determine what the check digit should be so that this is a valid credit card number. Well, we're going to create the same table that we had before. We're going to fill in the digits in our first row, and we're going to put in a question mark for that last digit because we don't know what that digit should be. But we do know that our weight pattern is still 2121 and so on. And we can fill in all the products using the method that we just talked about, except for the very last product is going to be whatever the question mark is, times 1 will be the same question mark. But the point here is that all of those numbers should add up to something that ends in 0, and when we add up all the ones that we know, we get 73. So 73 plus the question mark should be a number that ends in 0. And since the question mark has to be a digit between 0 and 9, we know that the only possibility is that the missing digit should be 7. So that's how the Loon algorithm works.